Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to understand how to import the data into RapidMiner. So for this, you will have to go into the window of RapidMiner. Now, there are some default data sets which have been given in RapidMiner. So we will see how to bring the default data sets. So for this, here you will go in samples, you will activate this. You will activate this and just simply drag and drop whichever file you want to bring. So I am looking for the iris data set. So I'll just simply drag it and drop it. Now you will have to create this spline. You will have to connect this spline with the result node here. And then you can press the run and you will be able to get the entire data file. This is the first method in which you can bring the sample data set into RapidMiner process window. Now we will talk about the second method. The first method we have already seen. Let me delete this. Now I will go from import data file. I want to bring my own data. So import data, my computer. And I'll try to locate my file where it is. So say, for example, it is on this PC, D drive. And I want to bring this customer churn data XLS. Press next, next. It will give me that or rather it will identify that what type of data it is. So gender is polynomial, age is integer. So this is the automatic, you can say automatic detection of the variable. Here you should get the green tick that there are no problems in the data set. Next. Now it will ask me where you want to save it. Normally, if you are having your own data, you should save in the local repository here. Do not in the temporary repository, save your, data, save your data in local repository data and you can also rename the data. Once I'll finish, I'll press finish and the data will be there in the local repository. This data is already there with me, so I'm not pressing the finish here, but I'll definitely show you where this data file has been loaded. So I'll go in local repository, go in data, and you can see our customer churn data is being loaded. Now again, I'll simply drag it and drop it and the splines will be connected to get the result. I'll press this play button and I'll get all the results. So in design window, your processes will be there. In result window, you will get the statistics, the visualizations, whatever you want to do. Now, if you want to generate the basic statistics, just simply press on the statistics tab. You'll be able to get the information about the variable. So it is gender. Click the down arrow. You will also get the graphs of it. When you press the open visualization, it will give the things on, or rather it will maximize the window. I don't want at this thing at present. I'll again go in design, results. I'll, uh, I'll close this processes. Okay, I'll close this also. I'll again go in design. I'll again run it. And in statistics, you can see age, histogram is there, payment method is there. The customer will churn or, or uh, is a loyal customer. The information will be given from here. The last transaction, the histogram. We get histogram for the continuous data and we get the bar chart for the categorical variable. Now you just simply press on visualization. And depending upon your requirement, you can generate different types of charts from here. This we will see in our next video that uh, how to generate different types of charts. Moreover, when you will click here and you see from statistics window, you see Give the details of the particular variable it will give you that it is male and female now this is a second method how to bring your data into the process window let's see the third method i'll delete this file and there is 
an operator which is known as retry. Just simply drag it and drop it here. Now activate this. Again, I'll go to the local repository. I'll bring my data file, customer churn data, click OK. And I will again connect the spline with the result pin. And you can see that when I press the play button, I will again get the same thing. Now let's see the fourth method in which I can bring the data file. Once the data is loaded by the import data command, it is not necessary for you to every time go in this import data and bring the same data set again and again. Now you will simply drag it and drop it. And now you connect this with the result window and press the play button and the results are ready for you. So these are the four ways in which you can bring your data into the environment of RapidMind. Now when I click on any of the, say for example, any of the data file, and when I right click, it gives me the information which is related to it. I can select the rows, I can select the columns, all these things, all the flexibilities are available. I can sort the columns in ascending and descending, sort columns by names, restore column order. So for more videos on rapid minor, data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, kindly refer my playlist, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. You'll find the entire playlist of rapid minor. Just refer my playlist. Thank you.